Hi folks, this is Max from Nexus7Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install the latest Android L preview. Uh, it's basically a developer's version, a preview version of the upcoming Android 5.0 Lime Pi, Key Lime Pi. Um, this isn't probably recommended for daily driving. Uh, some apps could be broke, so know that. But um, you can always go back. Um, this is, will erase everything on your Nexus 7. Um, also, this is only for the 2013 edition, the one with the back camera. Uh, please do not attempt on the original Nexus 7 here. Um, before we begin, make a backup of everything. This is actually my daughter's tablet, so I backed up all the apps with data using Titanium Backup, and then I copy the Titanium Backup uh, directory to my computer so I can restore it later, and she'll be able to enjoy her games without reinstalling them all. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. First, go ahead and turn your um, Nexus 7 off there. Uh, power off and we're going to go ahead and hold down the volume down and the power button together put into uh, bootloader mode of course before we begin well actually you can do this on a factory uh, Nexus 7 also it doesn't have to be rooted um, go ahead and hold down the volume down and the power button together until you see the Android figure with belly pointing up alright once you see this this is the bootloader mode go ahead and connect a cable to your computer all right, and let's go to your computer. All right, next you need to download the L Preview uh, firmware for Nexus 7. It's called a Razer LPV79 Preview D0DDF8 CE.TGZ. Go ahead and unzip it. You can use a 7-zip software um, to unzip it, and you'll get a folder uh, with a bunch of files. Um, folder called Razer LPV79 Preview blah blah blah. Inside you'll find a folder called Razer-LPV79 and you'll find all the files there. You'll also need to download a fastboot.zip um, right there. Go ahead and download this and unzip this and you'll get a folder with fastboot with all of these fastboot files. You can use Mac, Windows, or Linux. I'll have all the commands. Uh, I'll be showing you with Windows but I'll show you uh, I'll have all the commands you have to type with Mac or Linux. Uh, it's nearly identical. Um, so go ahead and copy all of these files. Go ahead and copy and paste it into the directory with all of the uh, firmware files for the L preview here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste. All right, and we no longer need this. Next, you're going to go ahead and open up a command prompt uh, by typing CMD in your search bar here. Uh, I'm using Windows 7 64-bit, by the way. It should work on all the windows also. Um, there we go. And we're going to go ahead and use uh, DOS command CD. Um, also, open up a terminal prompt, uh, or sorry, terminal in Linux or Mac. If you don't know how, please Google it. Um, once you're here, uh, go ahead and type CD downloads. All right. Uh, for Mac or Linux, it could be just CD download or downloads, one of the two. Um, and then next type. CD, you're going to type this up here. I'm going to actually, what you can do is you can just type um, the first like three letters, hit the tab key on your, your uh, keyboard, and it will fill it in for you. This also works on Mac, Windows, and Linux. Um, go ahead and hit enter, and you'll have to go into additional directory, so go ahead and type CD uh, again, type RAS, and then hit the tab key. It will fill it in for you. And then you'll be in the correct directory. Um, next, what we're going to do, is basically copy and paste these three commands uh, in there and that will um, flash the L preview. I'm going to go ahead and enter. That will flash the bootloader, the latest uh, L preview bootloader. Go ahead and copy the next command which is fastboot space reboot dash bootloader. All right. And this will boot uh, reboot your bootloader. All right. And next we're going to actually flash the firmware. So go ahead and copy the last line. I'll have all of this on my site um, and hit enter. And, and again, I'll have one for Linux and Mac. So you guys have Linux or Mac, you can copy that instead. Um, this should take about a minute or two. Um, so I'll fast forward all this. Uh, but when it's done and reboots, it's going to you know uh, clear everything in your Nexus 7. But you will have the latest uh, L preview, the Android 5.0 L preview on your new Nexus 7 and be able to fondle it, uh, play with it, throw it around, all that good stuff. Um, so I'll be back when this is done. All right, it is almost done. Um, you can see what it's doing is 
it's writing the stock recovery, um, and uh, it's sending system. It's sending the system files. You now, I was going to explain all this to you what it's doing, but um, it's done already. So let me go ahead and change my camera angle. My Nexus Seven tablet is rebooting already. Uh, if you get all okay, you should be all good to go. And let's check it out. All right, uh, it's booting. This should take about. Um, I'll be like five minutes or so, so just go get some coffee and come back. And I'll be back when this completely boots. So after about uh, five minutes, it finally booted. This is the welcome screen. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. Go ahead and sign in here. Uh, this is what it looks like. Let me actually try to go in here. You get a little warning. Uh, let me see if I can make this screen brighter. Um, I want to show you, ah, it won't let me go through it. Let me actually see if I can do the skip real quick, just for the hell of it. No. Actually, you know what? Let me just skip through it here. Ah, let me go sign in real quick. All right, I had to do the Wi-Fi to get through the setup here. And let me just skip through all of this. I really dig the keyboard. The new keyboard is nice. Um, I've been already trying this on my Nexus 5, so I've kind of seeing what it looks like here. All right, there we go. Uh, let me make this brighter. There we go, it looks a little bit better. Uh, but now you should be on the latest L preview. Again, this is a developer's preview version. It's not a full firmware. Um, but most of it should work, most of the apps should work. Uh, apps like Twitter doesn't work for some reason. Facebook, Google Plus should work. Um, definitely check it out. I do have a preview video over at my main channel, youtube.com slash ZetoMax. Um, you can check that out uh, for some demo and stuff. Uh, but basically, um, you have a couple new features on this. Uh, you'll, get, you'll be able to get uh, lock screen notifications here on the camera button there, unlock button there. Um, this is a new settings. It looks really clean, I really like it. Before it was dark, hard to see, but uh, definitely I'm digging this. Um, there's a bunch of features, like if you you know plug it into your um, micro USB, it'll show you how much a charge time um, you have left, or how, much, how long it takes to charge your Nexus 7. Um, pretty interesting stuff, so definitely try it out, if, you know, if you're uh, if you have the time during the weekend, you need to get super high on an Android, definitely check it out. Um, you know, you can always make a backup ROM, copy it to your computer, try it out. Um, to go back to KitKat custom ROMs or back to regular KitKat, uh, you will have to actually unroot. Um, I have instructions over at my site, nexus7root.com. Go ahead and download the latest 4.4.4 KitKat firmware. Uh, but yeah, I have it. Let me check it real quick here. Um, I have it on my site. Uh, at the top, click on Nexus 7 stock firmware. And, uh, ooh. I will have it up soon. Uh, for some reason, I forgot to upload it. Um, but I'm going to upload that right now. But you, sh you should be able to see it by the time you see this video. Uh, but I do have the 4.4.3. I'll also upload 4.4.4. You'll have to unroot um, if you want to go back because it's using a different bootloader. Also, um, yeah, that's about it, I guess. Just try it. You'll like it. And I will see you guys soon. Uh, as always, stay high on Android. Yeah.